Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with another quick tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to uninstall Casper Sky um, Security Antivirus Protection, pretty much. It's Security Cloud, actually. Well, pretty much I made a video before to show you how to download and install this, and it is a free antivirus protection, and it is a pretty good, excellent one for this. But let's say there's some people out there that do not like this one currently, or let's say if it's having problems, or you're just decided to pay for a full subscription, like let's say for Norden or something like that, and you don't want to have this one anymore. Well, you understand that you should probably uninstall antivirus protection. We're going to put multiple ones because that would have a little bit of conflicting on the Windows operating system of trying to fight against each other. So regardless, I'll be showing you how to uninstall it. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you do is pretty much just go to start and you can choose the little settings icon right here and you can go to apps and then we'll scroll down until we see the software called Casper Sky Security Cloud. That would be this one right here. I'm also going to be showing you how to uninstall the Casper Sky Secure Connection because it kind of gets installed to there and probably additional ones also for password protection too also gets in here. But what you do is you pretty much find the file that you're just going to uninstall the Casper Security Cloud and click the uninstall and click uninstall again and then you'll probably be prompted and this will come up and I'll tell us if you want to uninstall it. I'm actually going to press cancel real quick. Windows 10 sometimes gets this issue against some type of people. I I haven't had it for a long time like that but let's say if it wasn't here on this you can pretty much go to the start menu and you can scroll down until you see the software that got installed. Here's the Casper Security Cloud and you can just right click on it and click the uninstall file right here. It takes you to the programs and features from the classical style from control panel. Now if you want to go to that route you can also still go to start and just type in control panel. I just typed in control and I actually misspelled it. It has ventral <laughs> so it would be control and you'll just this will come up right here from control panel and then you'll choose programs and technically I could just click on install program but I'm going to go to programs and features again just to show you and here it is again the Casper security cloud right here so you can pretty much double click it or you can also do the option by clicking it and change it brings up the same location we just saw on the other one and we're going to go ahead and just continue it tells us welcome to Casper Security Cloud Setup Wizard and it's going to tell us um, what's in process going to be uninstalled. Um, you can either fully remove the applications and some data and uh, we're going to choose save the following data. I'm actually going to uncheck it. I don't need to save the file and we're going to go ahead and press remove. For now it's doing its own work and let's see if it gets uninstalled so it tells us right now to turn off a uh, virus protection you understand that windows defend will pretty much come into trigger to take place for it yeah it automatically did it right there and it's still stopping services that continue doing its work Uh, still in process. Takes a little bit long. I chose if you want to reboot now. I'm actually going to go ahead and exit a pop-up camera for a survey. I'm actually going to go ahead and press no. Next, I'm also going to go ahead and uninstall the Casper Secure Connection because if you don't want to have any of the Casper Sky software, then you'll go ahead and just click that file and then press uninstall too. And we're going to do the same steps on there. It says if you want to save optional settings, I'm not going to, so I'm going to go ahead and just uncheck that and press remove. Alright, it's prompted us again like on the other program right here. It tells us if you want to pretty much, you must need to restart the operating system to complete. So I'm going to go ahead and press yes and allow this system to restart and I will be back to be sure if this got uninstalled fully. Alrighty, so here I am. Windows is pretty much coming back up here on Windows 10 loading up. Um, once it finishes, I want to be sure the program's got uninstalled. You understand that sometimes files are stayed in the background and from registry and stuff like that, but it's a decent. I'm going to go ahead and skip this because I did get an update during this time, so I'm going to skip for now. And let's see if this program is still, if it's still there. 
I don't see it on the desktop anymore. And it looks like I pretty much got it installed. We're going to go ahead and go to Control Panel just to be sure. And to Programs, Programs and Features. And it seems that the program did get uninstalled. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching from Hilton's Computer Repair, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store. Link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.